in a brief first impression, we can't tell if you're a good programmer, right? Like I couldn't know if you were expert at your job. So competence in a first impression sense or in a relational sense is actually, can I rely on you? So the questions that are asked for warmth. So warmth, can I trust you? Okay. Competence, can I rely on you? In other words, can I rely that you're going to get it done? That you're saying what you're saying is true, that um, you've done your research, whatever that means. And so we're looking for perceived reliability because we like people, obviously, who are both warm and trustworthy, but also can get it done. Yeah. We like people who are- Yep. Yes, efficient and capable and reliable and true to their word. So it's a good that, that's a good clarification. It's really true to their word and reliable. That's okay. kind of the way that makes that. sense. Because to me, that seems like people who are confident. That's why we're drawn to people who are confident. They they seem more competent. Right? Well, or it's no? a good question because okay. confident people could be confident but not competent. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right. Like Boy, you right. can have someone who's like. You, everyone knows this person. Like, I'm sure you know this person. <laughs> it's like someone who's super confident in their own abilities, but you're not. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, so how do you like, explain that? It's so it's different then. Oh, okay. I mean, you know, narcissists can show <laughs> confidence that isn't based in reality. Right. right? So right. Like, I, I love confidence. Don't get me wrong. And I've, I've considered writing, I have a book, Captivate. I have a book, Cues. I have considered writing a book called Confidence, but I'm not. I'm not going to, not yet at least, don't check back with me in 10 years, but I'm not going to because I think confidence is a fleeting state, right? Like you can wake up and feel confident for a moment and then, you know, you get bogged down in your day or you have imposter and it goes away. It's a really hard state to stay in. Mm -hmm. It's really hard. Whereas I think warmth, being genuinely trustworthy as a person, being a person who sees the best in others, caring for others, that is a state I want to be in. I want to occupy that state. I don't want to go away. Competence, reliability, um, being dependable on my word, being capable, that is a state I want to stay in. So I think that that's, I love confidence. Don't get me wrong. I just, it's something that I don't chase anymore. I see. Awesome. Okay. So I have some questions for, you know, you giving advice from your point of view to our listeners. So the first one is what is your advice for instantly becoming less awkward? And maybe we can use two examples like social party with friends and then workplace. So instantly becoming less awkward, or is it the same for both situations? I think it's the same. There's a couple, but the one that I think would work for both scenarios is do not worry about impressing people. Like literally throw that out the window. And the reason for that is because it is so awkward producing. It's, it makes you so awkward to be like, I have to impress this person. They have to like me, right? Like that is so hard. So I want you to not think about them liking you. Don't think about them impressing you. And instead I want you to remember this study. So this is a study that also changed the way I interact and perceive people. It was uh, researchers went to high schools and they studied thousands of high school kids looking for patterns of popular kids, like the most liked kids. They wanted to know, are the most popular kids the smartest, the best athletes, the funniest, you know, the prettiest? What what was about them that made them so popular? It was none of those things. It did not have to do with their attractiveness or like there were attractive kids who were also popular, but that was not the through line across all these schools and all these grades. What made the most popular kids popular was that they had the longest list of people that they liked. Uh, in other words, the only differentiator was when they asked in this long survey, they gave all these kids, how many people at your school do you like? They had the longest lists. <laughs> you mean the, the popular kid themselves liked a lot of yes. people. So they were yes. friendly and warm probably it, to everyone. And they liked a lot of people. Uh-huh. So <laughs> what I would say is the fastest way to be more likable and not be awkward is to be like, how can I like this person? 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 When I'm going in an interaction, that is all I am thinking about. I'm like, mm. forget everything else. I'm like, what can I ask to like this person? What can we talk about to like this person? How can I like this person more? That intention is so empowering because it's curious, it's empathetic, it's warm, and it immediately makes you more likable without having to impress anyone. Mm-hmm. 
Wow. So this kind of reminds me of something I saw on a, a, like on a TV show. They were having this conversation. Um, if there is a person that you dislike or someone that like gets on your nerves, find a way yeah. to like them. <laughs> Have yeah. you tried that? And does that, yeah. Look, yes, but I'm going to mm-hmm. give a yes, but yeah. yes. Like if you have a difficult person, I want you to try your darndest to like that person, you know, kill them with likes, right? Like <laughs> what do we have in common? How can I like this person to an extent, mm-hmm. right? I, I have a three strike rule. If you have tried and tried and tried three times, and I mean, really tried, like, I mean, like really put your all into it, went into it with really good questions, tried to find likable moments, tried to find me two moments, gave them different contexts, maybe in work, maybe outside of work. And by the third time, you're still not feeling it. They're not your person. Yeah. They're Don't not force your person. It. And you cannot change them. Like we cannot fix difficult people. We can change the way that we treat them so they are less difficult towards us, but we cannot change them. 